underneath the driver's side rear of the vehicle, you're gonna find your fuel hose, uh, fuel line, and a vapor line here. I wanna follow this vapor line down to this rubber hose here. We wanna go ahead and separate these two here. Go ahead and pull that out. You wanna go ahead and locate your connector here for the sensor. Lift up in that little tab and pull the connectors apart, like so. Now you wanna go ahead and reach up here in this canister unit. Our solenoid has a little metal mounting tab on it. We're gonna use a small pocket screwdriver. Insert it between the metal tab and the unit. And try and work that unit off that mounting bracket. from the vehicle. So when you go to remove this part, you're gonna install your pocket screwdriver in this area here. There's a metal bracket that slides in this. So you're just gonna slide it in there and release the little lock on it. Go ahead and feed our unit up and in and get that mounted onto our metal tab here. Once it's lined up, just push it into place and it'll lock in. You wanna go ahead and install your hose here back into its original position. So now we snaked our vent tube through and back into our bracket. Go ahead and grab that rubber hose. Line that up and we're just gonna squeeze it back into place. Right. Install your jumper harness with the black connector first. The locking tab is gonna be facing inward. Line that up and push that onto your solenoid unit and then press that red lock button up and on. It'll lock it into place. Bring the harness down, line that up. Reconnect that harness right here, and you'll feel that click into place. So our vent solenoid here has an adapter harness on it. Some of the vehicles required them and others didn't. The pre-models had a specific plug on the end and then post uh, canisters um, required a jumper harness. Ours required a jumper harness, so we went ahead and replaced ours as well.